to Bridging Chicago. I'm Leona Kuhar, your host. Today, our guest is Estella Medina. Stella is the owner and operator of Stella's Cardioblast, a small fitness studio located on the southwest side of Chicago, close to Midway Airport. Stella has been and continues to be a positive influence for many of us, including me personally, in working toward physical fitness and increasing um, their physical fitness. Bridging Chicago is excited to share Stella's story with you today. Stella, welcome to Bridging Chicago. Hi. Hello, hello. So let's start out by having you just tell us a little bit about yourself. All right, my name is Stella Medina. Everyone calls me Stella. Uh, I am born and raised in Chicago. I have four daughters, uh, one stepdaughter, and I am a grandmother of five. Um, I do um, senior, I'm a senior accountant with the hospital here in Chicago, and I'm also a fitness coach and the uh, owner of the Stella's Cardio Balance. So you are a very, very busy person, <laughs> always running. Yes, yes. <laughs> so what events led you to recognize the importance of living a healthy lifestyle? Well, it was my own health. Mm -hmm. um, back a few years ago, um, I was experiencing um, very bad health. I had very bad health style. Um, I was... Um, Post, I was pre-menopause because I had a hysterectomy, so I was dealing with that, with symptoms of menopause. Um, so I was kind of all over the place. I kind of had mood swings. Um, my weight was, I was overweight. Um, what else? Um, basically anything you can think of. So, <laughs> so I went to a doctor. That many of us could relate to. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. So I went to a doctor. Um, he's a holistic doctor. And we kind of sat down to kind of like look for a homo hormone replacement therapy mm -hmm. to start off with. That was one of my uh, goals was to get that. But also we sat down, he took my blood work and he kind of figured out what else was going on in my body. So I ended up having metabolic syndrome, which mm -hmm. um, well, I was like diabetic. I was, you know, heart disease. I was like all of it. So he suggested that I change my lifestyle. And I explained to him that, you know, well, diabetes runs in my family, high blood pressure runs in my family. And the one thing he said is like, I don't want to hear that. Mm -hmm. He's like, it could run in the family. It doesn't mean you have to have those, right. you know, those diseases. So um, he said, you have to change your, uh, first of all, the way of the way we eat. Right. Yes. I mean, that's the big, big part of it. So that's what I did. I left the office and I went cold turkey and ever since then, I changed everything. So I reversed my determined. metabolic. Yes, I reversed my metabolic syndrome. That was gone. He was very, very impressed that I just went cold turkey. Usually, it takes a while for a person to, you know, develop different habits when right. you already had these other kind of habits. For so, many years, yeah. For many years, exactly. So right. that's what I did. <laughs> so fitness played a role in this, obviously. It in, did. And so how did you get started uh, in your physical fitness instructions? So with that being said, you know, I had to um, not only change my eating habit, I had to incorporate exercise in there. So I started off just on a treadmill and being on a treadmill just like 15 minutes was like, holy cow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. You know, it was just like, what am I doing? So then someone introduced me to Zumba. Mm -hmm. uh, a Zumba class. And after that, I fell in love. I was like, I was in class. Um, it just didn't feel like I was exercising. I was just, you know, into the music and we were having fun and uh, I lost a lot of weight doing that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so, so then you liked it so much, you decided to become a certified Zumba instructor. Yes. Now, yes. some people might think Zumba is just Zumba dance, but there's many different platforms exactly. and types exactly. of Zumba. Can you tell us about some of them? Yeah, so there's regular Zumba, which is what started every, everything. The regular Zumba is just a dance fitness uh, class, and uh, it's Latin inspired, but they also do worldwide 
on music genres. So mm -hmm. we go into like flamenco and tango and Afro beats, you know, anything you can think of worldwide. Um, and it's a fun class. You dance yeah. and you have fun. And meet lots of um, nice people. I mean, like, yes, exactly. Yeah. Uh, we also have Zumba toning. Uh, Zumba toning uh, uh, incorporates lightweight maraca-like sticks. Mm -hmm. They're kind of like lightweights. Uh, we incorporate that. And it's the same kind of, it's music, the same kind of music, Zumba music, and it just incorporates this toning sticks uh, to help with muscle endurance and uh you know, to get those muscles moving and you're not necessarily to bulk up, you know, right. not for that. It's just to keep those muscles going and moving, you know, to open the door and, you know, things like that, right. that'll help coordinate, you know, coordinate you for, you you know, to be doing that. So, mm -hmm. and, so, yeah. so, and, uh, there's other, um, there's, uh, so many, right. <laughs> yeah. It's like I, I said, so I'm sure people don't even realize how many, yes. Um, different yes. types of Zumba there are. And, yeah, so we have um, Zumba, uh, Zumba Step. Mm -hmm. Zumba Step, I think that's your favorite, right, Leona? It is. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for that. <laughs> so Zumba Step is a step aerobic class. Again, incorporates the same thing as a Zumba class. It's just uh, using uh, a stepper. And uh, it's a lower body workout. It focuses on the lower body workout mm -hmm. for that. And that's a fun class as well. And you also um, try to gear things toward people who might just be starting or might not be able to do as much? Yes. Yes. So I have a Zumba Go class. Now, Zumba Go class is for an active older adult, mm -hmm. beginners, or anything with any, anyone with physical limitations. So I know everybody hears Zumba Go and they think, oh, it's an old people's class. No, it's not. You right. know, it's for anybody who wants to you know, even for like someone who's just a beginner and doesn't know where to start, you know, right. they can come in and it's a lower intensity class. They come in and uh, we keep everything, you know, we don't do jumps and things like that in that yeah. class. It's great for anybody who has physical limitation, bad knees, right. bad hips, you know, like something like that. That's very easy, uh, easy class to start off with. Or, you know, if you, if you need, you know, to take it a little slower. Right. Um, and then even for people who want more intensity, you have classes that offer that as well. Yes. Yeah, so we have the Strong Nation, another <laughs> Leona favorite. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have Strong Nation. That's a high intense interval training class. Uh, that class, we use full body workout. That's burpees, push-ups, um, things to that nature. Uh, it kind of... Uh, incorporates a little martial art kind of mm -hmm. thing uh, and a little bit of kickboxing, I want to say, in there. Mm -hmm. um, it's a fun class, high intensity. So anybody who wants higher intensity more than a dance class, that's a great class as well to do. And you also have a class for children. Yes, well. I love my Zumba Kids class. Uh, I know you do. So, <laughs> Zumba Kids, um, it's a kid-friendly Zumba class. So we do do, you know, some Zumba style songs, but mm -hmm. we also do um, a breakout of a song. So we'll pick like a, a country, a region, just say like Colombia or something, and we'll pick a song from from that country. Mm -hmm. And I will break that out for them, break out the steps and everything, and um, kind of do like a fun kind of um, um Kind of homework assignment uh, assignment for them yeah so they go home and they figure out what bring back to me something like from that country you know mm -hmm. like their foods what is you know what do they eat in colombia you know things like so, that so zumba offers something for everyone oh definitely definitely and you also started another class um amp build um Yes. And tell us a little bit about that class. So Ant Build is uh, another class uh, that I provide here. And it's kind of like a timed interval training class. Mm -hmm. So I give you a um, set of workouts to do and you do it in your timely, um, within a time frame. Yes. We do that. So that incorporates a lot of weights, um, again, burpees, push-ups, things like that that are timed. And uh, that's a 30-minute class, 
Um, I'm going to boost it up to 45 minutes, mm -hmm. probably in February <laughs> okay. to boost it up a little bit. But uh, that's a great class for a full body workout. That's another great class for that. So when you first started teaching, you um, didn't have your own studio. I did not. So how did you do it? Um, well, I was teaching in the area where my studio is. So I had different locations that I was providing classes for. Mm -hmm. And it's always been a passion of mine, to, um, a thought of mine to do this, to open yes. up a studio so I can have one central location for all the students to come. Um, so it's been in the back of my head, you know, I want to do this, I want to do this. And uh, then this location popped up and I was like, I came to look at it. I seen a front sign, came to look at it mm -hmm. and told my husband, I'm doing it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm doing it. And so. so what were the challenges? Did you face any challenges um, trying to get your own studio? Was it hard? Uh, it wasn't as hard as I thought. Okay. I was a little nervous doing it. Mm -hmm. But um, as far as being hard, the challenge to me was balancing everything out. Okay. So now I have more classes on my schedule, you know, mm -hmm. and more things, you know, uh, more things to add. Right. Uh, so the balance part was difficult for me. Um, but once I started and everybody, like the family noticed, you know, noticed, okay, she's doing, you know, it's like, no, I can't do this because I have class, you know. Yes, it was so important it, to you. Yes, it was important. And once they started noticing that and, and some of them came in and participated, like my daughters, mm -hmm. you know, even my stepdaughter became an instructor. So, yeah. um, yeah, so I think the challenge was mostly that ba the balance of my personal life, social mm -hmm. life, things like that. Yeah, uh, that's what the challenge was for me. And I'm sure it's it's kind of scary in a way, you know, venturing yes. out on your own. Yes, um, it has to be. But you know, you you made it through, and so you mm -hmm. opened your studio, if I remember correctly, uh, twenty nine. Correct. I want to say 2019. Yes. May of 2019. <laughs> yes. So you yes. weren't open all that long when here comes oh. the pandemic. Yes. <laughs> Tell us how you navigated that. I mean, your well, studio that was had very shut scary. down. Yes. So when that all happened, I was like, okay, I try to remain calm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, try to remain calm, and um, uh, when the shutdown happened. I was just like, okay, well, maybe, you know, give it a week or two, you know, then we'll be back to normal, you know. Yeah. Uh, that was my thought process. That it wasn't even going to take this long, you know, right. to overcome this. Um, so in the meanwhile, Zumba, and before the pandemic, we weren't allowed, Zumba did not allow us to record classes oh, okay. uh, be on live the way we are with Zoom if we do a live stream. Mm -hmm. um we weren't you know we weren't allowed to do things like that so they came up to so, speed pretty quickly then. yes they came up to speed very quickly and they threw ideas for us out there they were very great on that mm -hmm. um so they said okay you can you can now you can do virtual classes you can record classes uh they do have a rule where there's certain songs you can only use okay. when you're doing uh, recordings um, but there's a lot of songs, so that wasn't an issue, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, so what I did was I started a virtual live stream. So we had classes virtually and then when the weather permitted, we did outdoor classes. Okay. So those were fun. Yeah. <laughs> those were fun. <laughs> so you managed to, uh, to, to navigate it and to get through it. Yeah. And yeah. it had to be difficult, I'm sure. So it was. during the pandemic, I think there were some people who um, increased their physical activity, and then there mm -hmm. were a lot of people who just kind of abandoned their fitness goals. Yes. So yeah. what? how do you motivate people to either A, get started, or B, start again? Yes. What are some motivation? So I try to... And that was, that's, it's a big, still a big concern to me is that with the pandemic, a lot of people with the shutdown and that, they just got used to not doing stuff, mm -hmm. not going out, not doing things, you know? Um, 
sure there's probably some that kept up with things you know i know a few people that wow they totally transformed you know yeah. with the pandemic you know but there's some people that just you know they just haven't done anything since the pandemic yeah. started so um i try to motivate people speak to people you know mm -hmm. tell them come out you know i try with emails i don't yeah. like to send too many emails you know what i mean because i feel like oh my god i'm bothering people you know right. Um, I try but to they don't to have to open the emails if they don't want that's, to, right? That's, that's true. <laughs> that's true. That's true. But yeah, um, I told myself that I'm going to go out there and just like, you know, try to get people motivated again. Yeah. I think that's what everybody is scared. You know, I, it's a lot of have to do with fear of what's going mm -hmm. on, of course, you know. Um, but yeah, I think people just need to come out and, and, well, uh, and again. just a little, maybe just. A little step at first and you know exactly. it, it leads exactly. to bigger things exactly. and i know um your studio pretty well and there's one um motivational sign you have um ex uh, results or excuses you can't have both yeah, yeah exactly so exactly. that I, is that always sticks in my head yes you know, yes, yes simple but very effective i think yes exactly exactly yeah but yeah. So, um, do you have, um, if someone wanted to get started, first of all, like just in their own business, like whether, whatever kind of business, mm -hmm. what advice would you give someone wanting to venture out to start their own business? Just do it. Just, just do go it. on and do it. Yeah. If you, you have it and if you, if it's been in your back of your mind, knowing yes. that that's what you've been moving towards mm -hmm. and you have that opportunity, just do it. Just go, yeah. you know, that's, take I mean, the that's, leap in other words. Take, exactly. Don't, don't let fear stop you from doing it. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, what's the worst you can do, you know, yeah. mess up, fail. There's no yeah. mess up, no fail, you know? And sometimes I feel like that. Sometimes I feel like, Oh my God, this pandemic, you know, what if I have to shut down? But you know mm -hmm. what? If it happens, it happens. You know what I mean? I just move on to another chapter of right. my life. And know? and at least you gave it a shot. Exactly. Exactly. Right. Exactly. So um, what if someone wanted to get started to be uh, a Zumba instructor? What would they need to do to, to achieve that? Um, actually, again... If you feel like that's in you, the passion is in you, then go out and do it. So they would just go to Zumba.com and uh, become an instructor. They can even message me and I can help them out with that. If they, mm -hmm. you know, if that's a passion of them, I have a student that turned instructor. I have a couple other people that are coming in to the studio that uh, are brand new instructors and they just need a little help. So yeah, even, even if there's an instructor out there that needs help, motivation, um, mentoring, I was just you know, going to say, so you become too. a mentor as well. Exactly, exactly. If they need that, I mean, um, I I would love to help. You know, mm -hmm. I would love to help anybody who who finds that that's the uh, road they like to take. Right, I right. Mean, so. And your um, fitness instruction doesn't just isn't just at Stella Stella's Cardio Blast. You also do classes for other places as well, correct? I do. I do. There's people that reach out to me like, oh, can you do this class? You know, can we want to start up a class? And, mm -hmm. you know, if I can fit it into the studio, you know, with the, you know, the schedule of the studio, then I'd be happy to help them out and yes. you know, get the classes going for them. So mm -hmm. I do, I do have to sometimes say no. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I think it's probably schedule. hard for you though. It is very hard. It is very hard. I just wish I could do, you know, do it all. But um, I have to learn to say no sometimes. And yeah. uh, it is hard. It is hard. But I do. I do uh, Burbank Fusion uh, uh, Rug Clicks. I'm mm -hmm. there as well. And I just started a new one at <laughs> uh, the community <laughs> house. <laughs> it's called the community house in Hinsdale. Okay. So i um, I'm trying to help them out getting their Zumba program started up. So yeah, what is the community house? Is it just like a, a community center or? Yeah, it's just like a center. I believe okay. they have like fitness classes there. They do different like kids classes. I think they even have like a preschool or 
or something like that mm -hmm. there. So yeah, different activities they have going on there. So if you look ahead a bit to the future, what what would you like to achieve or add? Are there things that you think that you'd like to do next? What would you like to do? Um, I don't know if you could fit any more on your plate, but. <laughs> <laughs> um, I do want to get more into, I love my Zumba, mm -hmm. but I've already been thinking of getting more into one-on-one -on -one personal training Yes. Uh, with people um, trying to do that. Um, as far as the studio, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that I can expand. Yeah. And maybe, you know, get a bigger location. And, oh, I have a lot of plans, but. Yeah. But that's good. <laughs> I mean, it's it, yeah, yeah, yeah. because nothing happens if you don't dream first. Exactly. You know? Exactly. Yeah. I'm more of a go getter. Like, if I want something, I'm going to go and try it at least, you know. Yeah. It doesn't hurt to try. Um, my husband might think differently. He's more of like, uh, more of a stay safe kind of. Okay. He don't take like risks. Don't take <laughs> so chances. Kind of, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I guess we balance out each other, right? Right. That's a good thing. That's definitely exactly a good exactly. thing. So yeah, um, yeah. But he knows. He knows my passion. It took him a little while to figure it out, but once I opened the studio and he's seen what I really want to do, then. Mm -hmm. and he's very supportive so well that's good it's yes, good that yeah. you have you know your family to support you yes yes so what if is there anything else that you want us to know about Stella's cardio blast or about yourself um, um I just want everybody to know that um that when you come to Stella's cardio blast it's yes it, we're here for fitness, but it's more than that. I feel mm -hmm. like um, I'm building a community here, you know, yes. everybody gets along. Um, and I like, I want everybody to know that when, even if it's here or somewhere, to, somewhere else, get your fitness going, yeah. you know, get your health, you know, that should be priority. Um, I can think it's self-care, right? Let's right. talk about self-care. Like that's very important, you know? um to take care of yourself you know right so when people come here sell those car bias i like when they come in and once you're in this you know in the studio forget whatever's outside and just yes. enjoy your workout you know and uh yeah because if you're enjoying it you're going to come back right right yeah. so i hope i've done that i hope that when people come to my class that you know that they enjoy themselves and they can relieve that stress and mm -hmm. whatever's going on. Everybody has different issues going on, different things going on with themselves, but I hope they can forget that, enjoy themselves and enjoy the workout. Right. Yeah. Well, I can, I can attest to it. And I, I think you show it to everyone that, you know, you don't care just about your studio, just about Zumba. You care about everyone that walks in that door. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's for so sure. obvious. And I yeah. think uh, everyone, all of your students feel that, you know, that you really do care. So that's a good thing. That's good. That's so good. tell, just tell us if anyone wants to connect with you um, or to learn more about your, your, um, the programs that you offer, what is the best way to find out more? Um, they can go to my website. It's www.stellascardioblast.net. Um, mm -hmm. On there, you'll see information about the classes that we hold and there's different links um where you can sign up and register and you can see the full schedule of okay the classes. Um, yeah and I, my email i believe is on that website as well so if you ever anybody wants to reach out have questions or you know want more information they can email me as well and you don't have membership fees it's pay as uh, pay per class so no one has exactly. to exactly right exactly so we have class packages or you can drop in uh, use the drop in uh, fee uh, but no membership no and it's a small setting where people can feel safer in this yes time, I so. love I love that it's small and yeah. it's not so big because we feel close together and yeah. I like that I like that we're close together and um and we you know, we're all like comfortable here, you yeah. know, so it is, it is small setting and I do keep the classes right now to a minimum. Right. So, you know, we're not overcrowded 
here, even though yeah. it's a smaller setting, but uh, I do keep the classes to a minimum. So Right. For well, the time being. <laughs> Stella, yes, for the time being. Exactly. Hopefully that changes exactly. soon. Exactly. But exactly. Um, in, the, in the meantime, you've been keeping those who want to keep fit, you've been keeping us in the groove. So that's a good okay. thing. So. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> well, Stella, thanks so much for joining us today. It was well, so great to talk me. to you and to hear your story. And I'm sure that um, everyone who listens to this is going to enjoy it just as much. So I thank hope you. so. Thank you for having me. Thank okay. you. Thanks, Stella. <laughs> thank you. Thanks for listening to this episode of Bridging Chicago, as produced by the SATC Solutions Center. Nothing contained in this podcast shall constitute financial, investment, legal, and or professional advice. No professional relationship of any kind is created between you and the podcast host or guest. You are urged to speak with your financial, investment, or legal advisors before making any investment or legal decisions. Furthermore, the opinions expressed in this podcast are not necessarily the opinions of SATC Solutions Center, SATC Law, or any of its employees. This podcast is created by the hosts and guests' individual capacities. All opinions on this podcast are or have been rendered based on specific facts under certain conditions and are subject to certain assumptions and may not and should not be used or relied upon for any other purpose, including but not limited to or use in or in connection with any investment purposes or legal proceeding.